are about 7,000 fundraisers around the world who go to SOFI every month. That's seven times larger than this Congress. Every time we send out an update, we get fabulous feedback from these people. They see, say things like, uh, thanks for the update. Everyone I've shown of the SOFI website thinks it's fantastic, the UK. As usual, I found new items on the website quite fascinating. I passed the one on the innovative annual report to the person who normally does this for us. Thanks for this wonderful website. Keep it up. They go on. PB from France says, when he's lovely. He sends us a note every time he gets an update, which is <laughs> <laughs> great. And they're always just, just as enthusiastic. Went to Sophie after many months not going there. What a great site. Well done, Sophie team. But this one, and here are some others. This one I like from the US. We love Sophie. You are our secret weapon for ideas. This is why I'm doing this for free. This is why I have the honorary. Because every time we send out an update, we hear from fundraisers all around the world about the impact that we're having. So the Sophie pilot has told us that we are meeting a need. <coughs> <coughs> Sophie's not replacing conferences or other websites or other resources. Sophie is supplementing all of this learning. And we have to keep going. So we know that the website's clunky. Ken is not a web designer. He's the guy who's been designing Sophie so far. Um, so we uh, made a priority to get Sophie a new website and a new look. And this is what it is. So this is Sophie's new look. You can clap now. <laughs> you know how this works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the new website. <clears throat> so we are, it's designed. Uh, the content is being transferred over. This will be the home page. It will welcome you. There will be a very clean navigation tools up here. It will show you some of the most recent exhibits across the top page. Updates, you can see what's new on the site easily, and some of the highlights. So we can still profile things we want to drive traffic to. <coughs> this is a really important feature. Support Sophie. We are going to start asking for money. In fact, we already have. And this part, our sponsors. So it's time to start finding some. This is what the exhibits will look like. Again, very easy to navigate through and very clean. <coughs> I'm just thrilled about this. This is, uh, we took all our data over since December 07, and we put it on a picture. And back in December of uh, 2007, there were less than 200 fundraisers registered. Now the brown are the users, September 2009, just shy of 6,000. The visits are almost 10,000 per month. This is a phenomenal rate of growth. And just if I can just go on a soapbox here, these brown people are the users. Those are the people who have actually put their name and email and get our monthly updates. The gap in here, the visits, are all of their coworkers who they forward those links to. We would like to encourage people to sign up for Sophie. Because we know in fundraising, the only way to make money for Sophie is to be able to deliver on impact. And we can't do that if we don't have the statistics. So if you can help us with that, that would be fabulous. This is our proje projection for next year, 2010. If we keep growing at this rate, we will have over 20,000 uh, users on the site, visits to the site, and almost 10,000 visitors or users, sorry. That's if we do nothing, if we don't raise any money or relaunch the site or work together <coughs> and establish partnerships. But we know that fundraisers want a museum. And we know that they want a hall of fame. More people than just in the UK should know the impact Guy Strainer had on this sector. And I didn't know about him until I went to Sophie. Fundraisers want to learn and share. And when I saw this exhibit of the pizza grannies in India who built a building from making pizza, I was truly inspired. There are 300 exhibits like this on Sophie, 750 pages, and 
fundraisers have an insatiable need for this information. Fun Sophie is more than about uh, Ken Burnett. Sophie has an international group of people like me who are committed to helping it build. We have country ambassadors, and there are seven of us right now. We also have other volunteers around the world, including Ken, Sean Triner, Christiana, Mal Warwick has started a North American society. And thanks to Jeff Dean and Linda, we are able to funnel donations from the United States through the Resource Alliance North America so we can issue tax receipts there. We need to be able to do this. It was a very simple thing to do. We need to be able to do this around the world by partnering with other organizations. So Mal, Jenny, Jeff, Kay, and you will be very important to us to be being able to provide this service to fundraisers. So it's time to take the next leap. We're going to do that before the end of the year with the new website. Uh, we need you to be a part of it with us. Uh, we need to get more organized around our fundraising, so we are developing a plan. We're working on our recognition policies. How are we going to recognize donors on the website? Uh, I can tell you that having a fundraising committee of some of the world's best fundraisers is not the piece of cake that you might think. It's <laughs> it is a very challenging committee, but we have fantastic people at the table who want to see this work. So we also need to start asking for money. And we started in September. And these are the people who came forward. The Jaffe Foundation renewed their support, but they want to see us raise more money from other people. Harvey McKinnon and Associates, the Think Foundation, Mal Warwick, Steve Thomas, Marketing for a Better World came forward. Kay Sprinkle Grace, Jemmy Tom Jenny Thompson, oh, the Jaffe Foundation again, wouldn't that be nice? I moved them to the top. Um, Dick Richardson, Burnett Associates, and Daryl, thank you. Uh, but we're also part of the Big Give. So our challenge as being part of the Big Give was to raise a certain amount of money by the end of September, which we did. We raised $20,000. Now, the challenge from uh, the Big Give is to raise $40,000 before the end of the year. They make it so easy, right? But Explain what the Big Give is. For the oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, there's a philanthropist named Alec Reed. Please supplement if I run out of information. Uh, there's an early deadline. It's a, a philanthropist who has set up a website. Uh, and if we raise a certain amount of money by the first deadline, they will match that. So we raised $20,000. Now that's uh, what the Big Give is prepared to give us. If we raise $40,000, so we have to raise double that, in order to get the $20,000 from the Big Give, we now have to raise forty. dollars That's probably the simplest way. Okay. Uh, and that will help uh, Sophie start out next year with $80,000. So... This will be a good thing, and it's exactly what we need to take that giant leap. So uh, we haven't started asking for money, really, or even gotten ourselves organized around it. So I think, I think it's out there. So we're going to uh, raise 27,000 euros, $40,000 approximately, relaunch the site, achieve 10,000 registered users by the end of this year, develop a long-term strategy. We need to figure out what this business model is. Because the ultimate objective of this website is not to create another charity. The ultimate objective is to create something that is self-sustaining and gift it to the Resource Alliance because we believe that's where its natural home should be. But you don't need another headache. So <laughs> we'll get it going first. And partnerships with more people. We can do amazing things to help fundraisers be aware uh, sending out emails on our behalf, pointing donors in our direction, and talking about Sophie with each other about, as an important resource for fundraisers around the world. And we're doing this not so that I can feel good and learn about international fundraising, although that is my personal goal. Um, we're doing it to help people like Wayne. Because Wayne doesn't get to conferences. Wayne doesn't even want to really fundraise. What Wayne wants to do is make the world a better place in Cameroon. And in order to do that, Wayne has to raise money. And to do that, he goes to Sophie, and he's our ambassador in Cameroon. These are the fundraisers that conferences can't reach, but 
let Sophie can. So thank you very much. I'd like to uh, offer Lyndall an opportunity to say a few words, and you can cut a piece of cake and take it with you, and people will wonder where you got it from. <laughs> <laughs>